Today in class, everybody's going to be working on center number five because I'm absent. Um, so you're going to be working on your Greek research. So let's take a look in your Google Classroom, and you'll see that there are three new assignments. Um, let's start down here a little bit to the third one. It says center number two, Narcissus and Echo vocabulary activity. This you will work on at some point over the next four or five days when you are in center number two. After you turn in your center work, you'll click this document and you'll have your own copy of a vocabulary activity and you'll follow the directions to, to complete that. Um, this is not what you are to be working on today though. First you should go look at the Guppy Bowl directions. We've talked about this a little bit. Oops. You have your own copy of the directions and the rubric. To start with, I want you to fill in your name at the top of this, so delete this and put your name up here. And then you're going to fill in the topic of your research. Is it the Hydra, or maybe you're doing Medusa, or Hercules? If you don't know what you're doing yet, this would be a good time to just open a new search bar and Google something in Greek mythology. Are you interested in doing, learning about the heroes of mythology, the demigods, the monsters, other gods and goddesses? because you have all day today to, to start your research. So don't take too long to try and figure out what it is. Once you have it, you're going to fill it in here. And again, I have three examples in here, but you only have to have one. And before you start researching, I want you to brainstorm what are some things that you already know about the Hydra or already know about Medusa or Hercules or whatever it is that you're researching. And it doesn't need to be in complete sentences. If you want to do it in a bulleted list like this, you could do that. Any stories you've heard of, what a description of them, who their parents are, as much as you already know. Once you've filled that in, um, let's take a look at your source cart, your charts. You have one, two, three source charts and we're going to do these a little bit differently this time. One of the problems I noticed in the research from the first project when we did the gods is that we are doing a lot of plagiarism. So we're going to show you exactly what I want you to do today. So once you find your first source, I'm going to go pretend I'm doing Hestia as mine and I just searched Hestia Greek facts. We're going to pretend that I already did a crap form to verify this, but I'm going to take the link of the source that I found, open my EasyBib Creator, and since I'm using a website, I'm going to click this button website, paste the URL in here, and search it, and once I select it, it'll give me the correct format for how that should look. I'm going to copy it, and paste it here so that I have it for later. Okay. Now we have two different charts. I'm not giving you a bunch of questions this time because you really are going to be looking for as much information as you can about your god or your character. So it's not going to be just the Roman name. You're going to be looking for any story, any uh, anything that you can find, any description that tells you about your character. The first box you're going to copy and paste one sentence at a time exactly from the source. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to copy and paste the sentence exactly as I see it. And this is not plagiarism because I've indicated where that information came from. Now the problem is that I don't hear seventh graders using terms like the eldest or thus or dethrone. So what I want you to do is then put this, what does this mean to you? You're going to read the sentence and put it in your own words. And it's not meaning to just substitute one word for dethrone or one word for thus. It might be better for you to close your Chromebook and think about what you just learned about that set from that sentence. So this says, when Cronus swallowed his children for fear one would dethrone him, Hestia was the eldest and thus swallowed first. So what this means to me is Cronus was afraid his children would take the power of being king away from him. 
so he swallowed his children. Since Hestia was the oldest, she was swallowed first. Now, this is exactly the same meaning as what's written over here, but it's in more seventh grade terms. I've taken away some of the vocabulary here and put it in my own terms. Then I'm going to go to the next thing. Um, after Zeus forced his father to disgorge his children, Hestia was the last to be yielded up. So I'm going to copy, paste it, and again, we're doing one sentence at a time. Um, disgorge, well, we know what that means. Zeus gave or uh, caused um, Cronus to throw up each of his brothers each of his, well, we'll say his children, um, since Hestia was the last to be thrown up, she was actually the youngest, even though she was the first born. And I'm going to keep going through and doing that with each of the sentences that I find one sentence at a time. And we might find out that some of the sentences don't have inf important information that you need. If that's the case, then you don't have to copy that sentence. Now you'll notice that you're going to run out of room. So there's a couple ways that you can add a new row. You can hit tab, put your cursor in the last row, and you can just add as many rows. So you could end up with about 30 or 40 different rows just for this one source. Another thing you could do is click where you're at, table, insert row above, or insert row below, and you'll just keep adding rows as you go. Once you have exhausted all the information, and it should take you quite a while to do this from source number one, then your job is to go find a second source and do the same thing with source number two. So once you have watched the screencast, I really don't have a problem if you listen to music while you're doing your work, but if the teacher sees you on any website that is inappropriate or not what you should be doing, um, you're going to lose the privilege to be using your Chromebook in my class and you'll be doing all of your research by book or on your own at home. So please make sure you're using your time wisely today. This opportunity will not come again and it is not something that my, my morning classes got to do. So this is a little bit of a gift to you since I'm going to be out today.